we, we say the youth are the future, but I think the children are the generation of this country and for this continent of ours. So we should put much effort in child interventions. <laughs> Mugora kwa ya sore kwa kuru mungu dushima kwa hara mungu dupa jedu habga tukafasha wa jenzi wa chuku ya wana Musohora ibuja wa fite mwerivu Ni mungu visa duganda shende Save the Children is committed to support the government of Rwanda to fulfill its obligation towards the realization of the rights of girls and boys with and without disabilities this is done through different ways that include strengthening the Rwandan legal and policy framework, strengthening child rights and child protection systems, and monitoring child rights with children, working on public investment in children, engaging and strengthening the capacity of the civil society actors, including children to engage the government on matters that affect children, and lead evidence-based advocacy. While noting that civil society organizations play a key role in creating a conducive environment for children, they face numerous challenges. Some of these challenges include limited funding, limited technical knowledge, skills and confidence on child rights, policy advocacy, organizational capacity gaps, which also include lack of basic policies, procedures and support materials, governance and leadership gaps. It is also important to note the importance of child participation in all matters concerning children and their rights. However, children face challenges in voicing out their concerns and informing policies, and their rights are still being violated. I was going bigatuma bavo mu mashuri akajya gukorera twa dufaranga ariko kubera za nzego zihari zirabarinda cyane 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 bituruka ku miryango ubonikene nuko kenshi wasanga gawa ni bakoraga no mu binombe nago kenshi wasanga gabigaga wasanga mu mitekerezi yabo bari baragwingiye kubera abahuraga no mu binombe ni bajye ku ishuri bakoraga amafaranga ni batahe mungo none ugasanga umwana ari maragera na mama yo guhinga ugasanga nyine yavuye mu ishuri ni yiga nyine the <laughs> Afatwa agakubitwa abagamuga ati reba muzuba fata amabuye yashira hano kunoki uranaza ubundi pfukamemo umuhungu namuhaga igihano cyo guterura itafari akarizamura hejuru umukobwa ngamuha igihano cyo cyo kumwimanka ibiryo cyangwa ngamuha dukeya hari giye umubyeyi ashobora kugutuka igitutsi nurugera kagutuka ngo hakinyendawe nurugero ugasanga nyine kirakubabaje byamugize hungabana yambonaga nurutse nka hari yanje mu rugo akavuga ati none wo cya papa ikiranyuca nguyu nguyu ndera nago mu ishuri yafataga yaramaze gusibira mu wambere ngishuru ngeshana kunyego imari ni jana migambe by'igihugu nago mvuga ko umwana ashobora gutanga ibitekerezo hari n'igi umwana yabonaga ikibazo kimubangamiye nko kubura ibibuga byo bakiniraho ugasanga nyine ni ikibazo ariko bitewe nuko atazi aho ya tangira yo makuru atazi ubujyo kiyagira uruhare muri ibyo bintu bikabimbogamiza hari nka bajama tutumvikanye bakambira bati ibyo gukora byose waririmba nta kintu byakugizaho wa kivuza mago akira nari nzi ko umwana ufite ubumuga cy'uburenganzira n'ubwabandi imbere narwaraga nabuga ati ni majyane kwa muganga ndarwaye gise iki ngiki kirwaye chamari kitura kijana igishake kipfira imbere yuko mpugorwa ntabwo nari nahaga agacira umwana ufite ubumuga nubwo nari naramubyaye ariko numvaga ko ntaca zamurira Uh, of course, we had some some challenges uh, based on the the capacity building that we, the institution needed, especially in uh, in child interventions. It was challenging us because 
the demand of uh, beneficiaries were, was not uh, despondent. So with this project, we reached more uh, beneficiaries. From that time, we were also at a level of uh, having uh, our policies, uh, the policies that can guide and also uh, serve to, to, to work in a, con, in a very well condition as a civil society organization. We have to say that 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 we have To address some of these challenges, Save the Children in Rwanda, in collaboration with Children's Voice Today, Kladho, Umuhuza Organization, Ajprodho, and Coalition Umgana Kuisonga, has been implementing a CEDA CSOs program known as Strengthening Accountable Governance that Protects and Delivers Children's Rights. The project was implemented in Rohango, Kirehe, Nyarujenje, and Burera districts from 2017 to 2021. The organizational capacity development component of the program is the primordial part that was established to strengthen the capacities of civil society organizations to strategically position themselves as independent, self-governed CSOs to efficiently carry out child rights programming to implement their activities and reach their full potential and mandate. The organizational capacity development component focused on strengthening CSOs at the institutional level with a close-up look at the following eight areas. One, governance and structure. Two, culture and inclusion. Three, management, HR and staff. Four, finance and grants. Five, implementation and quality. Six, participation. Seven, networking and communication. And eight, influence and legitimacy. As a result of the organizational capacity development support, CSO's partners have grown remarkably in those areas, increased their understanding of the organization functioning, and commits to keep growing. Over the past five years, our country office has implemented a CETA-funded civil society strengthening program. This project, known as the Strengthening Accountable Governance to Protect and Deliver Children's Rights Project, has worked to strengthen the capacity of five civil society organizations. These organizations have been supported to effectively deliver on their mandate as members of civil society and advocate for the rights of children to ch and advocate for changes in rewards and laws and policies, as well as strengthening child rights and protection systems. Ubwo tumaze gushyiraho gahunda y'ibikorwa hararimo gukora gahunda y'imyaka 5 ni ikintu cyari gikomeye kuri organization pe. Kugira ngo ube wabasha kumenya mu myaka 5 ni he tugiye kujya ni hehe mu byukuri tugiye kwerekeza uruhare rwa buri wese ni uruhe. We also improved in terms of communication where our uh, website was improved. Uh, we have also reviewed our policies uh, like child protection policy, the child safeguarding policy, gender policy. They also trained the board and the other organizers of the organization. Every staff had, is, had understood the duties, roles and responsibility of each. Uh, mostly we have provided training to parents and uh, ISU, Shutizu Muryango, religion leaders. Uburyo bwa mbere dufite twebwe dukoresha na matsinda y'abana ari hirya no hino muri communauté. Abakangura baga nyene baje mu kinombe baratubwira bati ngo muri kwica azaza hanyu heza ha no kunyene tubatubivuyemo gucyo. Kwakoze ukangura mbaga ku burere budahutaza umwana. Cyo kiganda twakicishije no kuri televiziyo, cyewe namahugurwe twetwa harahawe no kuri CVT byanadufashije gufasha bagenzi bacu. As a result, children both girls and boys with and without disabilities are making a change in their communities by advocating for their rights and participating in budgeting processes and monitoring their child rights. The government of Rwanda has adopted relevant changes in the legislation and in the policies. Civil society organizations have visibly contributed to those changes over the past five years. 
Parents have changed their attitudes and practices and have had a positive shift from inflicting physical and humiliating punishments on their children to positive discipline practices that have been observed at family level. The strengthening and accountable governance that protects and delivers children's rights program overall has reached 3,969 children. Included in that reach are 1,830 boys and 2,139 girls. The children reached are members of the grassroots groups and have participated in different project activities, including campaigning for the prohibition of physical and humiliating punishment at local level. The program has also reached 8,376 parents, of which 3,444 are male and 4,932 are female. The parents had all been trained by 686 mentors on positive discipline. 933 local leaders and in Shudu were also reached through training on child protection. At Save the Children, we have worked to build the capacity of these organizations through a number of capacity development interventions. The program also empowers children and provided opportunities for children to participate in decision making from the grassroots to the national level. For example, as a result of child-led advocacy, there are boys and girls who have returned to school, others who were withdrawn from child labor, and other major achievements in public budgeting. <laughs> nuko yabashije kutwereka ko guhana atari ugufata inkuru gukubite ahubwo no kuganiza wa mwana icyatumaga ajyaho ngaho akagaruka mu nzira nziza ari kubu ngubu no kuvuga ngo mu byo dukora byose turicara nabana tukaginama ubu rero abana bose tubafata ku rugero rumwe mu gihe kera umukobwa ari we wavunikaga mu mirimo yo mu rugo ukumva ko hari ibyo akwiye gukora umuhungu atashobora gukora nange nange nyine namenye uburenganzira bwanje sinava mu ishuri byansigize isomo ryo gukunda ishuri umubare w'abakobwa twabashije gusubiza mu mashuri ndumva ari mirongo 3 muri uko muri uko kwezi byatumye nyine buri mwanya uburenganzira bwanje aguca tutaraje muri sivite nta nta gumuntu umuntu ufite nka umwana ufite umuga ntago yahezwa ga mu rugo nta menyaga ntago yemaga kuja gukina umva mufata kimwe nabandi ndetse we ngerageza no kumuba hafi ngerageza kumicara hafi nka muganiriza ku mutoko nganiriza abandi ngiza nabi baramusora arangiza akagoreza neza abana barenga abihumbi bibiri magana tano mirongo itano nicyenda ubu ngubu bose bazo uburenganzira bwabo icyariyo there are policies and laws that were developed and that were amended i can start by the law governing persons and family of 2016 which was amended in 2020 ruciye muri uyu mushinga credo yavuguruye amasezerano yari fitanye na minecofine hongerwamo component y'abana ijyanye n'uruhare rwabo mu igena migambi n'ingengo y'imana ngo mu murenge wa nyabirasi iwacu na mashanyarazi yahabaga ariko mu ngengo y'imari ya 2018-2019 twashimye leta cyane ko igitekerezo cyo twebwe abana twatanze cyakozwe ubwa mbere hano harugo nta cyaho cyagi hari twatanze ntanze igitekerezo nyine bashirwa mu bikorwa ubucarakozwe twatanze ikibazo twari dufite cy'ubucucike ku ishuri uyu munsi byumba by'ishuri byarongerewe imfasha nyigisho ziracyari nke mu mashuri turi yifuza ko hakongerwe ingengo y'imari bakatwubakira amashuri y'abana bafite ubumuga ubukomatanyije COVID-19 has not spared this project. Much of the government's focus went to economic rebuilding after the initial shock of COVID-19. In addition, the primary agency we worked with, the National Commission for Children, was restructured and reformulated as a national child development agency. Changes in policy and staffing meant that our policy priorities were not prioritized during the life course of this project to the extent that we had it hoped. Kifusa ko rero yagira no mu gihugu hose nabandi bana bose bakamenya uburenganzira bwa kuko ari habatarabumenya uburenganzira butubahirizwa 
we are committed to investing in children, not only because uh, you're asking us to do it, but because it's a responsibility. If we are to solve issues of children, uh, of ch children rights, issues of teenager pregnancy that is scaling up every time and again, so I think it is one of the solutions that the government should adopt, partners should adopt, the law government should adopt. This is what I should do, uh, encourage and, uh, and recommend. The project has generated a lot of learnings. First and foremost, working on a well-analyzed problem helped to enhance the quality of intervention and the relevance of fe and feasibility of the program results. Secondly, working with CSO partners who shared the Save the Children's programmatic direction was key for program successes and the long-term sustainability of project results. Using technical experts, particularly those experts who supported the design of training modules for positive parenting, was instrumental in changing attitudes and practices in the areas of positive parenting for both mothers and fathers, as well as in the prevention of physical and humiliating punishment. Last, but by no means least, the program re revealed that CSOs deliver better and more sustainable work when they work in consortia on, to influence government decisions pertaining to the rights of children. All these learnings will be leveraged in designing and implementing future CSO strengthening projects.